In this module, we'll continue looking at the explore command. Earlier, we just looked at the quantitative variable at once, but now we will see how to observe the characteristics of a quantitative variable at various levels of, a, of any other categorical variable. To do this, we'll continue working with the explore command. Let's say our goal is to observe how the age is distributed among the individuals having the ulcer detected and not detected. For this, we'll go to Analyze, Descriptive, and Explore. We could click on Reset, bring the age into the dependent list, which is most often going to be a quantitative variable, and then a factor list. That is result. We want to see that for those individuals whose ulcer has reoccurred, what is their average age? As well as we want to know that what's the average age of those for, th for whom ulcer is not reoccurred. Moreover, this will help us to understand if there is any difference between the ages of the people for which ulcer has reoccurred or not occurred. To do this, we bring our criteria variable, which is a categorical variable in this case, into the factor list and the variable of interest that, is, that will be the age will goes into the dependent list. And we, we check on the descriptive, we check on the plots, histogram and normality plots and we simply click continue. And we want to look at both the statistics. The output shows the case processing summary. Earlier, there was only one, call, one row for age, but now age is just divided according to the result variable, which is no ulcer detected and ulcer detected. Here, there are 32 individuals for which no ulcer is detected, whereas 11 individuals are those for which ulcer was detected. And within those group, they're all 100% individuals which are added into the, into the analyses. So hence, they are all 100% of those no ulcer detected are included in the analysis and all 100% of those with, no ulcer with ulcer detected have been included into the analysis. If you look at the descriptive results, now descriptive results are given according to the result, that is our categorical variable. So no ulcer detected and ulcer detected. These all statistics are for the age in years, for all the individuals for which no ulcer was detected. And this all statistics are for the, all the, for the age of all the individuals for which ulcer is not detected. Right now we can see that the age of the the average age is 51.81 years for all those individuals for which ulcer was not detected similarly there are the median the median age of all those individuals for which no ulcer was detected is 54 likewise if we look at the mean for ulcer detected the average age of those for which ulcer has been detected is 48.55 years and median age for those with ulcer detected is 47 years. So apparently it seems like that the, for the individuals with no reoccurred ulcer is 51.81 which is higher than 48.55 for those not ulcer detected. Sorry, for those for which ulcer was detected. And the same goes with the median. Now, if we look at the skewness, it shows that for the individuals with no ulcer detected, age is negatively skewed. Whereas for the individuals with, no, with ulcer detected, the age is positively skewed since this coefficient of skewness is greater than zero. For the kurtosis, we could see it's minus one, which shows it is platycurtic. 
Same goes for the ulcer detected. The age, the distribution of the age will be platykurtic. And we can see all these into the histograms and other statistics. In histogram, it's very clear that the age is distributed as negatively skewed distribution for no ulcer detected group. Whereas for ulcer detected group, there is a peak here, but there are some elongation here, but apparently this is not really clear right now from the histogram, but we can use some other measures to figure it out. But definitely our statistics shows that it is positively skewed. So statistics values are gonna be more correct, accurate as compared to the histograms. You look at the semi-leaf plot and it is showing pretty platykurtic shape. Same goes with this situation for this data. They are normal QQ plot for each category for a no ulcer detected and ulcer detected group. They are box and whiskers plot for ulcer detected group and no ulcer detected group. So this shows age in years. Right now, you look at the median. The median age of the ones with no ulcer detected is higher as compared to the median age of the people, of the individuals with ulcer detected. But if you look at the range of their age, the range of the age is apparently larger for the no ulcer detected group as compared to the ulcer detected group. Q3 is lesser for ulcer detected, whereas Q3 is higher for no ulcer detected. Whereas the Q1 are approximately same, whereas the Q1 for the ulcer detected group is, is slightly lesser than the Q1 for the uh, no ulcer detected group. And the same way it goes. And this is a way we can look at the, all the possible categories of our quantitative variable. And we can see uh, the, the distribution of our quantitative variable across the various categories of our qualitative variable. Thank you.